Hi students, today I am going to take a lecture in mathematics and uh, I am going to, I have chosen a topic uh, in mathematics, orthocenter. Like many of you had a doubt in what is an orthocenter, so I was just told to take uh, a topic in orthocenter. So let me just begin with what is an orthocenter, okay. So I am here now, so let me just clear the page for you. Orthocenter. Now, orthocenter is nothing but it is a meeting point of all the altitudes of a triangle. Now, what do you mean by an altitude? Okay. Now, suppose I draw this as a triangle. Assume that this is a triangle with sides or with the vertices A, B, and C. Now, any perpendicular line from A to BC is known as an altitude. Okay. And from B, to the line AC and it forms 90 degrees here then this is known as an altitude now this meeting point here okay this point is now known as orthocenter okay so this is orthocenter now there are few facts that we need to make it very clear on how do we find the orthocenter of a triangle when three points or three vertices are given. Now the step one is we can note that this line AC is perpendicular to this line Now let me just mark this point as D and here as E. This line AC is perpendicular to the line BD. So that means if I just mark the slope of AC as M1 and if I mark the slope of BD as M2 then we know that from a property of multiplication of slopes of perpendicular lines m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. So step 1 becomes while solving find the slope of find the slope of the altitude. Okay. This is the first step for you. Now once you find the slope m2 that is then this altitude is passing through the point b so now you have one point and one slope then apply point slope form point slope form and what is the point slope form y minus y1 is equals m into x minus x1 and then frame an equation and get an equation for an altitude so this will give you the equation of altitude this is the equation for an altitude equation of altitude okay now similarly repeat the same process for the altitude a to e okay this is e so just repeat the same process for a to e that is first find the slope of bc then multiply it now let the slope of uh, ae be some m2 then multiply both the slopes and equate it to minus 1 and then get the slope of ac sorry ae and then this point uh, this line AE is also passing through the point A then again apply point slope form and get the equation of AE once you get the equations of altitude then solve the two equations solve the two equations to get the point of intersection to get intersection point okay and this intersection point is nothing but this point only that we are talking this point is going to be the intersection point and now this intersection point is nothing but our required orthocenter right now let me just apply these laws to one practical problem let me just solve one problem for you now the one of the problem given is find the orthocenter of the triangle whose sides are given as below now the first point is minus 2 comma minus 1 the second point is 6 comma minus 1 and the third point given is 2 comma 5 okay so now let me just draw one triangle for you okay and now let me mark this as a and let this point be minus 2 comma minus 1 
and here let me make this as b and this point b 6 comma minus 1 and let me make this point as c and his point is 2 comma 5 okay so now let me first draw one altitude from b onto ac okay so my first step was to find the slope of ac so let me just find slope of ac slope of the line ac which is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 now what is y2 y1 x2 x1 here now the given points are minus 2 comma minus 1 and 2 comma 5 so now let me just mark these points as x1 y1 x2 and y2 okay now let me just take to the next page now just substituting I have slope let me make this slope as m1 now let this be y2 minus y1 which is 5 minus of minus 2 divided by sorry this has to be y 5 minus of minus 1 okay, just let me just rub this for you okay 5 minus of minus 1 divided by 2 minus of minus 2 now 5 minus of minus 1 is 5 plus 1 which is 6 by 2 minus of minus 2 is 2 plus 2 which is 4 which is nothing but 3 by 2 okay now applying point slope form between point B which is 6 comma minus 1 and the slope is going to be like as I said we need to apply we have to find this okay the slope of uh, the line BD let this be D so as I said M1 into M2 should be equal to minus 1 so now since I know that M1 is 3 by 2 into M2 will be equal to minus 1 so the slope of this altitude BD will be M2 will be minus 2 by 3 now I have one point here and I have the slope here now let me just apply the equation y minus y1 is equals m into x minus x1 so this will become now here the x1 and y1 let me just write this is x1 and this is y1 so y minus of minus 1 is equal to m which is minus 2 by 3 into x minus x1 which is x minus 6 okay so let me just turn the page for you so y minus of minus 1 in the previous page will now become y plus 1 is equal to minus 2 by 3 into x minus 6 so now I'll just send this 3 onto here so this becomes 3y plus 3 is equal to minus 2x plus 12 now I'll send this entire thing onto the left side to form a particular equation so now this becomes 2x plus 3y and uh, plus 3 and minus 12 becomes minus 9 is equal to 0 this is the equation of our first altitude okay now let me mark this equation as 1 now when I go back to the triangle again okay let me just go back yeah this is the triangle now if I have to draw up a perpendicular from A to BC okay now what am I going to do is first find the slope between B and C first find the slope between B and C and the point B and C is 6 comma minus 1 and 2 comma 5 okay so let me just turn the page again and the points now is slope of BC slope of BC okay which is 6 comma minus 1 and this is the point B and the point C is nothing but 2 comma 5 so again I repeat the same procedure let this be x1 and y1 let this be x2 and let this be y2 so now the slope let me say this is m1 will now be 5 minus of minus 1 divided by 2 
minus 6 which is going to be 5 minus of minus 1 is 5 plus 1 which becomes 6 divided by 2 minus 6 is minus 4 okay so now this is ultimately equal to 3 by or minus 3 by 2 okay this is minus 3 by 2 so now the slope of the line or the slope of altitude will be now let the slope of altitude m2 now let this be slope of altitude that we need to calculate okay and we know that m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 now the m1 that we found out was minus 3 by 2 into m2 now this is equal to minus 1 this negative and this negative will get cancelled so m2 is now equal to 2 by 3 now we have a slope which is 2 by 3 and now we have a point in which I mean this altitude passes through the point A which is nothing but minus 2 comma minus 1 okay so now I need to apply point slope form for this which is nothing but y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 now here this is x1 and this is y1 so now I have y minus y1 which is minus 1 is equals m which is 2 by 3 into x minus of x1 which is minus of minus 2 okay so this will be y plus 1 equals 2 by 3 into x plus 2 now just cross multiplying I get 3y plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 4 now rearranging them just sending this 3y plus 3 onto this right hand side I am gonna get 2x minus 3y plus 1 okay so I'm gonna get 2x plus 3y and it's either plus 1 or minus 1 uh, let me just check 2x minus 3y sorry is it plus 1 sorry so it's gonna be 2x minus 3y plus 1 so it has to be let me just So this is going to be 2x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is the second equation of the altitude. Okay. Now the step 3 was to solve this first equation of the altitude and second equation of the altitude to get the points x comma y. Now the first equation was, you know this one, 2x plus 3y minus 9 equals 0. So I'll just copy it down there. 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equal to 0 so this equation is 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equal to 0 okay so I'm just going to add these two equations so I'm going to get 4x minus 8 is equal to 0 so from this x will be equal to 2 now I substitute this x is equal to 2 in any of these two equations okay now let me choose this equation so I'm going to substitute 2 into 2 minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 so 4 minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 which means 5 minus 3y is equal to 0 or which implies 5 is equals to 3y is equal to 3y from this y is equal to 5 by 3 so now finally my ortho center is going to be x comma y is my ortho center okay so x I have found out to be 2 and y as 5 by 3 so my ortho center is going to be 2 comma 5 by 3 thank you so much and I hope everybody is understood